first time. Lay hands on a real weapon. First time. Set foot on the battlefield. So what's going on guys, my name is Violent, welcome to Grizz Zombies. Today, we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Online, produced by Raven Software, and they are the guys that made Modern Warfare Remastered, okay? They are also responsible for new game modes like Prop Hunt, War Mode, Cyborg Rising, that is also in Call of Duty Online. So drop a like on this video if you learned something new, and subscribe! Let me know in the comment section if you're new, and if anything sparks an idea with you, hit me up over on Twitter, at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. So the news of Battle Royale has hit recently, and Infected is a new game mode that is confirmed now. There's actually leaked gameplay out there. I'm not going to be showing that leaked gameplay. However, the gameplay that you're seeing now is actual gameplay of Call of Duty Online, and I'll link the original source where it comes from in the description box below. So in China, there's Call of Duty Online, which is developed and partnered with Raven Software, and it's an 18-player PvP survival mode where there are six heroes, and four of them are actually in the Zombies mode. There's two factions, Task Force 141 and Shadow Company. Shadow Company is not really talked about near as much, but the game mode style is elimination, just like the Hunger Games. These are a variety of characters that you'll be seeing through DLC and whatnot. However, this is just concept art that I have on screen, so this is probably to come in the near future. This is based in China, and it's a free-to-play microtransaction game. While the game of Call of Duty Online launched January 14th of 2013, Raven Software and Activision Shanghai, in a closed beta, introduced a DLC expansion called Cyborg Zombies Rising. And that was introduced in late 2014, so about a year later. Remastered Treyarch maps rolled out with mixed weapons from all the other Zombies modes and I believe they have three, maybe four maps right now of Treyarch Remastered maps. But the current status is that new maps so far are just revisions of COD Zombies maps. So what does this mean in terms of what we're seeing here today? Well, it's a whole nother audience in China that's experiencing somewhat of the same format that we're experiencing just in a different way. So there's a lot of experimenting going on, but Raven Software is doing the testing behind it. With Modern Warfare Remastered, they had their own chance to do their own things, host their own events, and do things the way they thought it should be done in America. So over here, we primarily see them as someone who helps with new game modes, not necessarily is hosting with the majority of zombies games that were experiencing the modes within each title. That's mostly developed by the actual company itself. So Raven Software comes in and helps. With Black Ops 3, they were helping with some of the events that were hosted, the DLC 5 support, and Infinite Warfare. They had Days of Summer that they were helping host. In Modern Warfare Remastered, they had Prop Hunt, a new game mode that came through. And now, in Call of Duty World War II, we have War Mode. And what do we know about War Mode? It supports 12 players, just as Prop Hunt did in Modern Warfare Remastered. Cyborg Rising supports 4 players. Three difficulties, easy, medium, and hard. But what we're missing is Infected. We don't have Infected yet, but I can't actually link the source even in the description box below. But I assure you that I've seen leaked footage that it's out there. But with these new modes coming later after launch, it's hard not to believe that Raven Software might be behind it. They're actually behind the scenes on a lot of different things that not a lot of us in America at least pay attention to, or even in Europe or wherever you're watching. You probably don't pay attention to what's happening with Call of Duty Online, and it's very integral to the future of what we might be seeing coming up. They have their own zombies mode. Yes, it's Cyborg Rising Zombies, but the people of China are still a zombies community, smaller, maybe not near as big as we are, but they're still getting exposure to the same type of stuff that they want to be experimenting with to see how we would react if they were to do this here with our massive audience. So. Raven Software has their own test run going on with Call of Duty Online. So with that said, we can draw the line now with the 18 player support of Infected. That is the same support that you'll see in Battle Royale Survival Mode. Now I've seen what it's going to look like with the Infected mode that's coming to Call of Duty World War II. 
It's exactly like you expect. We're going to be wielding a shovel and getting melee kills, and that's pretty much how it's going to go, at least to start. More weapons might be introduced, especially melee weapons, once they come into the picture with DLC. But for right now, it's going to be 18 player support, just like we've seen in Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare. But what I'm proposing today is that the Battle Royale mode that they're testing could be an infected mode coming up in the near future. A lot of people think that maybe we're going to be getting a Grief 2.0. I don't think we're quite there yet, guys. I think Treyarch's going to be bringing that heat with Black Ops 4 or World at War 2, whatever direction they're going to take, as well as a new social space. I'm excited to see how they're going to go about that change. But during the season pass now of Call of Duty World War 2, we're going to have holiday events coming through. One specifically during December this month is Winter Siege. There's going to be weekly rewards as well that we can receive once it begins on December 8th. But while this is all happening, Call of Duty Online is currently a public but regionally private beta. And because of that, anyone in America can play if you change your settings to fit China. I don't know, there's tutorials on YouTube on how to do that. But a lot of people are testing this new Battle Royale mode and it's getting a lot more popular. But what boss battles did was prove that a certain part of the map, the boss segment specifically, can be altered as a game mode itself. That's what was great about Infinite Warfare Zombies and we're able to take that lesson from there. So with that, Raven Software could easily incorporate a Grief 2.0 using the same type of mechanics if it was put in place from the get-go. But here's the kicker, I think it's a lot more realistic to expect Infected to be introduced this month and eventually maybe in addition to Infected being added an alteration of Battle Royale that I would consider an Infected Battle Royale. Now that's aiming really high on the Zombies portion because if we're going to play some multiplayer and we're Zombies, Infected's our mode so best believe you should be subscribed to this channel because I'm going to take care of you guys as well. Now I know a lot of you guys might doubt this, and I might be shooting a little bit too high, but take this into consideration, Headquarters, our social space right now in Call of Duty World War II, supports 48 players in one lobby. That's one lobby that could actually be a multiplayer match. Imagine if it was player versus player, PvP, everybody versus everybody, that's 48 players in one lobby, which is feasible right now. So let me ask you guys in the comment section right now, could the meta be reused or duplicated for this battle royale mode. I think it could, and I think you could duplicate that a few more times once they allocate their data correctly with their servers. Things could get a lot better. I mean, you got all these other modes running multiple scenarios with different players going, and you also have Infected coming, which is gonna support 18 players, and an also social space that's got 48 players. So combining all that together, that's a crap ton of players that could be hosted at one time in one game. So why can't more be added? That's what I'm saying. I think this could be enlarged on a way bigger scale, and I think Activision knows that. I think the first time that I actually played Infected was in Modern Warfare 3, and a big part of that was throwing knives, because I would love to get throwing knives across the map and somehow be in the kill cam. That was my jammy jam. But things have not changed. Every single new game that comes out that Call of Duty makes, I'm genuinely excited to play Infected. And how they go about it makes me even more excited. With Infinite Warfare, it was a bit odd. We had some uh, major jetpacking going on, and I didn't really like it. As a matter of fact, let's be real here, I hated all of the multiplayer for Infinite Warfare. <laughs> but I love the Zombies mode. The Zombies mode was A1 with Lee Ross. Best season pass I've played so far. But hey, when it comes to Infected, there might not be a lot of news year-round, but trust me, I will have you covered in the patch notes once things are altered every single time and Infected, they will be incorporated in my patch notes. So you should activate that bell icon so you get every push notification when I actually put out a video, because each time, I'm coming with that fire. But as for the latest that I can get to you right now, it appears that the social score, once you reach the max rank of social score, you'll be getting a verification and that means you are maxed out and I'm not sure anymore on that but apparently that's a thing and also the new dark matter which is going to be known as chrome has been obtained by somebody over on reddit these are some of the leaked images that I've seen of that and it, I don't know what do you guys think of chrome it's it's a bit bland if you ask me it doesn't pop near as much as the ones that we've seen in the past but that's what we got so far and I'll see you in the next video bye one out <laughs>